the origins of the tarot cards are seem to be um, a set of playing cards in the late um, 14th century, early 15th century. I guess it's broad because I look at tarot as something that can help give advice for the future. Well, as I understand it, I think tarot reading is uh, an attempt to have a glimpse into the future. There are all these different theories about how something like this works, and one of them is that the gods are manipulating the cards in your hands. And I call that the archaic view. Some of the time it turns out that I see something through the cards and it's related to an anniversary or uh, a birthday, usually of somebody that has passed on, and it winds up coming through in the cards. If any one of us uh, had, a, had what we thought to be a real glimpse into the future, it could be dangerous in that we might adjust what we're doing in the present time. I'm not one to shy down or back down when somebody says that it's a negative thing or, or anything like that. Um, and I might get approached from a lot of people that don't agree with the store in general, okay, because I kind of had to overcome an awful lot when I first opened up the store. Um, the tarot did not exist when the, bit, when the Bible was um, written or put pieced together. It came about in the Middle Ages. So when it says that you can't do tarot in the Bible, that's... Because when we look at our religious background and we go to the very first commandment that was given to Moses for the Jewish people, you shall not have strange gods before you. And if, if an individual is equating tarot reading with, with a god, and that's where the problem exists. And the idea is that the devil invented the tower, literally, you know, sat down and drew these pictures and passed them up to humans. And the reason for that, the purpose of it was to trick humans into thinking they don't need Christ. That, you know, this is completely not true. The original pictures were Christian. The original drawings were all based upon Christian paintings. There was no sense of it. There is a card called the devil, but that's because the devil is an important figure in Christian mythology. The tarot triggers something in me to be able to pick up something either from the person or maybe it is on a spiritual level. But whatever the case may be, it seems to kind of open me up to receive those. What we do and what we believe has nothing to do with magic. People with a weak faith might equate it to magic, mm -hmm. but really what we do is it magic at all? But what would you say if I said to you that, you know, there's nothing special that happens in readings, it's just that whatever cards come up, people can use them to find something meaningful for their lives. And I would say, well, I'd have no problem with you saying that. I don't think that's what happens, but I'll have no problem with you saying it. Because to me, there is something very specific that happens.